Why is he fighting? Or is he just practicing? Sorry for breaking your camp. There's another guy coming at me on the left. Oh, multiple. Multiples. Good thing I heard it. Wow, they are, they're so fancy. No. No! No! He did the counter too. Oh, I thought that was gonna kill him. There we go. Give me something good. Nothing? You had so much good stuff. heavy load that's okay Oof. there you go Still heavy? Okay. This camp's got some rough enemies. He did get serious with the two-handed spear. He took it out. I saw that. All right, the bugler. The bard here. I'm gonna sneak up on you with a halberd. Do not summon forces. Oh, there's more over here. There's a lot of people here. Map of Limgrave West. Okay. Oh, look at it fill in. That's pretty awesome. I feel bad when they run at me with just the sword. Like I know he's not going to hurt my poise with my shield up. I can counter. Their, we their weapons really make a difference. Like the hammer guys and the the uh, halberd or spear guys are way tougher. That didn't give me any charges back. Oh, there's a guy over here. All right, that... That guy looks a little bit more serious. Congrats, you murdered a city. It was a bad city. 
Ooh, that's a fancy looking wagon. me open I'm kind of scared I almost cursed friggin flail yes yes oh no I need an 18 dex Damn. I'm going to still equip it. See what it does. This is going to be me being horrible with it. Yes. It's great. I definitely want to use that. I want to use that so bad. But I can't. I got to put it away. All right. Oh, the poise on this is only a... My poise would go from a 23 down to a 9 with that. I can't do that. I need the poise. Poise! So I guess... Do we want to have both weapons available? the question uh kia 734 thanks for following let's remove that um still medium that would bring me heavy does that increase decrease my weight no Oh, don't, don't, yeah. All right, anything else in the camp? Okay. I need an eight, I need a higher dexterity. Rabbit. Avetica, I remember those early D&D games. What the hell's a flail? Now I know all the medieval weaponry. I remember always not using pole arms because they were just, in the original D&D, they had like 12 different pole arms. Glaive, Gearm, Volge. Volge, Gearm, Volge. You know, they combined them. Um, Lucerne, Hammer, all of those things. Um, and like as a kid, I had no idea what they were. Did you get into arguments over flail or mace? No, there were arguments over morning star versus flail. There were so many people who thought morning star was the, the chain, you know, like now that's a flail. Acquire materials. Smoldering butterfly. Oh. All right, what else is in this camp? Now that it's my camp. And besides the stair down, of course, stairs down. Another smoldering butterfly. Wait, is that another is that another cart up here oh yeah there's a guy outside of it i didn't even see these people 
All right, let's go get that. Is a smoldering butterfly one that's on fire or one that's giving you a smoldering look? It's a, it's a horny butterfly. Yeah. They're smoldering. You're dying to know what's down the staircase? Am I killing you? Hey, that gave me my charges back. It gave me a couple. I'm at three. All right. Well, that's a little better. Wow. I love that mechanic. I love the mechanic of getting a couple of your charges back. Is this loot random, by the way? Like, will, will other people get the same things from this? Lord Sworn's Greatsword. Oh, it's the same? Okay. Lord Sworn's Greatsword. Now that sounds like a me weapon. And I'm not strong enough. But we're going to try it. Actually, I could probably use it. Let's see. We could do it like this. And can I put my helmet on too? Oh, I could. I could use it two hands, right? If it's a strength issue. Right? It should be okay if I'm... Uh... No. Unable to use this weapon effectively with present attributes unless wielded by both hands. Okay. So I'm okay. And then I have to just... No, what are you doing? No, no, put it on two hands. Two hands. There you go. Oh, that's gonna wreck face. Does it have a special? St upward cut. Nice weather we're having. That is awesome. All right, anything else in the camp? I feel like I could miss so much. Yeah, besides the stairs. You guys are like, stairs! I know, but it's four o'clock already. Golden rune. See, there's more stuff over here. For a second, I thought that was his brain. I just took his brain out. And he can't open these. Based on you watching others, you'll be missing all kinds of stuff as the game. Oh, I have no no doubt in my mind. This game is so open. Somebody was saying earlier they've been playing for what, 20 to 40 hours and they missed that boss that I fought. <laughs> like right in the beginning. All right, where were the stairs? Oh, I'm, I'm loving this game so far. And, like, I know, like, I barely scratched it. But it already feels so good. I don't have a shield. Adding skills. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armament's type depends on what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. Interesting. 
With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. This way, you can alter an armament's attack affinity, boost att attribute scaling, and more. An armament's type determines what affinities it can have. Okay, yeah. All right, Ash of War, Storm Stomp. Whetstone knife. So, if I'm looking at, let's say this, oop, why do I do that? If I look at this weapon, it's got upward cut. So would I be able to swap what I have? Is, and is that a consumable? So here's the whetstone knife. Here's a crafting kit. Okay, I got the map. Oh, it's at the bonfire. Okay. Or a site of grace. Yeah. Bonfire. Bonfire is okay. I, I would know what a bonfire is. I wouldn't know what a site of grace is. Okay, it's not a consumable, but only one weapon can have it at a time. But you can swap it out. Hold on. Is there going to be like a bonfire like right past this door? Oh, before the door. It's right here. Oh, nice. rest that's gonna bring all those people back this is so much fun Ooh, it's different do i get to touch the darkness within you and level up greetings hi traveler from beyond the fog I am Melina. Melina? Not Melina. I offer you an accord. An accordion? Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? No. They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Yeah, people keep telling me that. What does that mean? I can play the role of maiden, turning runes into strength. Okay. To aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. That sounds good. You need only take me with you. To the foot of the Erd Tree. Well. That's a tough question. We barely met. Uh, Tikos, what other soul games have you played? All of them. All of them. Yeah, I think that's right. All the ones from From Software, from Demon Souls. Well, not from the original Demon Souls, but from Dark Souls on. Yeah. Plus things like Mortal Shell and Code Vein and other ones that are similar. But all right, um, I guess we'll accept. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. 
I bequeath to you this ring. Okay. Spectral Steed Whistle. Oh. Use it to traverse great distances. Nice. It will summon a spectral steed. Named Torrent. Named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. It's a spectral steed. I can't hurt it. So now we can level up. This is your first. Now you're going to try Sekiro. Nice, Tikos. Uh, okay. What is Ashes of War? With the Ashes of War menu, you can use that. Okay, use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments. All right, an armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previous had will be lost. By adding an affinity, you can alter an armament's attack affinity boost. Okay, an armament's type. So, stamp upward cut will be gone forever because I'd be putting in Storm Stomp. But if I later then get rid of Storm Stomp, I actually keep Storm Stomp, right? Oh, you can reverse it. Oh, you can redo it. It's not great at explaining that. In fact, it explains the opposite of that. <laughs> it literally said you, you, you will lose it. <laughs> okay, so. You keep all the ashes, your help. Okay, so I guess that's my question. Um, the ability that was there first stamp upward cut that that i can't get back right or maybe you can i don't know let's put it in here anyway standard or quality so quality makes the scaling go better wait what is that doing Just un just unequip the custom slot and it'll revert back. Okay. Cool. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. Share them with me. Alright, with the level up menu you can your spend thoughts, runes. Your ambitions. To increase your attributes. The principles you would follow. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one as you're okay. Yep. And I can probably level up a bunch of times. If I get the dex to 18, I can use the flail. So it looks like we got four levels to play with. One, two, three, four. That great sword has carried you all the way to level 96 so far. It's amazing. Yeah, now I can already tell. It's pretty awesome. Quality deletes raw damage for scaling. You need your stat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I remember that. Man, it's very tempting to go after that flail. Vigor is going to be health, right? Yeah. Endurance is... The stamina. And how heavy your equipment can be. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I'm gonna work on decks at some point too, but I think something like this. For now. Strength to one hand the greatsword. How much strength do I need to one hand the greatsword? I, I didn't see what it what the requirement was. Yeah, it's a start. I, mean, I can go double check. It needs strength of 16. Shall I turn? Let my share them with me. Yeah, so that's perfect. Your thoughts, boom, boom, boom. Your ambitions. The principles you would follow. Mine does the uh, focus points. Okay. There we go, gang. Our first level up. Use the Spectral Steed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one Flask of Crimson Tears to do so. Oh, interesting. You can dismount by using the Whistle again or by pressing L3. From the pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Ow. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. Triangle and up, triangle and right. Oh, that's why triangle. That's why to equip something with uh, two hands requires an extra button press. Up, right, left, and down. First of all, I can equip this with one hand now and be fine. All right, and then use sword stomp is R2. No, not R2. Is it R2? L2. Sweet. Can we try that again? Hey. I don't know what that does. I tried to punch him. Oh, he's shielding it. You're right. Okay. Okay. Let me go to somebody without a shield. These guys are all going to have shields. Like it don't come back. All right, now how do we uh, equip the horse? How do I set like what it takes to use though? How do you advise, how do you put it in your quick pouch? Oh, over here. <laughs> yes! I 
you can fight while you're in this or no? Yes, you can. What? And hop. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, it's not awesome. Don't you kill my horse. There you go. love it so much missing going on okay you can double jump dash too oh nice all right now we're cooking with wesson wait is this another one i never found this one i forget how to dismount i guess we just do that If you one hand a great sword, you can use the shield in the other hand or use magic also. Yep, whatever you want to do with the other hand. All all the weapons uh I don't know about all the weapons, but in these games you can you can even use like a short sword with two hands to do more damage. Oh, okay. Left joystick goes in. That does it too. Or another great sword. Oh, oh yeah, I see. Okay. You bad guy? Yeah. Hey, do you like that? Oh. <laughs> oh, where's my horse? Why did I dismount? Dismounter. I got the dismounter. Left stick dismount has killed you more than any boss, like like it almost did for me there. Was something trying to sell you something mid fight? Yeah, there was a guy that was like, "Oi, come over here!" But I don't want to talk to him right now because we're pretty much out. We're out of time. What did I just get? What is a dismounter? Inquiring minds want to know. It's a curved greatsword. Wow, it does a lot of damage. It requires a 19 strength. Spinning slash is the, uh, the ability on it. I wonder what it 
looks like. That wasn't it, is it? Is that it? Hey. Dismounter. Aha. That was not the button I was trying to hit. Okay. We'll still stick with this one. All right, let's rest there. All right. I just saw Azaria leave the house. Um, I think we're gonna wrap things up there. This was so good. Now I can just level up freely anytime. What happens if you say no to that, the lady? You know? What if you say no to that lady and she's like, hey, you're maidenless. Do you want a maiden? And I'm like, nah. And then she doesn't give you a horse or levels. Hard mode, no idea. You can talk to her again and change your mind. All right, Purple McGurk. The Adventures of Purple McGurk.